what's up guys, it's your boy Bernie here along with Pete. And today we got a little bit of a, a new thing that we're going to try out on the, ser- on the YouTube channel, and that's going to be just a wrestling news series. We're just going to talk about some of the news and rumors and some of the stuff that's bugging us about the WWE and also some of the stuff that we enjoy about the WWE. But let's just get right into it. What do you want to talk about first? I know there was something you were really ir- irked about on last night's Raw. Are we talking Finn Balor? I think we're talking Finn I'm Balor. wearing a Finn Balor sweater, right? I'll start off by saying that. I like Finn Balor. I'm not his biggest fan, which is funny because I'm wearing his sweater, and I wear it in a lot of our videos. But the fact that he lost clean to Kane is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to say that. It's just, I mean, fans are going to complain, and we and we should complain because this is just an egregious thing that happened. And, you know, the casual fans are going to say, oh, you know, he took three choke slams. He's fine. He didn't really lose that. Yeah, but bat. he was allowed to take three choke slams and then lose to a 50-year-old man. Exactly. And that's where us, part of, like, the minor crowd, like the people that don't aren't sheep. Some people who would call us smarks. Smart marks. <laughs> We're smarks, right? But I don't think that's even necessarily what it is. Just from a storytelling perspective, Finn Balor losing to 50-year-old Kane is yeah. absolutely horrendous. Yeah. Your it, first universal champion who never lost. Exactly. It hasn't gone to dream match since. But that, that leads me to talk about what I was going to say, is that there's rumors now that the, at the Royal Rumble, it's going to be Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. Oh. For so the, For the title? For the title. So it made no sense for me to see, like, oh, because at first I thought this match was for a, a potential building that... Finn Balor, no matter how small he is compared to a larger guy, he's mm-hmm. able to beat him. Yeah. But it kind of, like, kills his momentum, especially after last... No, well, not last night, but on Sunday, beat where he beat AJ Styles. That's so crazy. The one thing, maybe, the one defense I could possibly give the WWE is that some of the other guys that would have made more sense to do the job for Kane are sick. They're kind of depleted right now. Like, I think the perfect person to use would have been Bray Wyatt, right? Because him losing to Kane is not that crazy. Right. He's strong enough from a storytelling perspective where him losing like that to Kane would be a big win for Kane. Mm -hmm. He would have been the perfect dude. And he's in this feud with Finn Balor. And he's kind of like the darker personality. So he would have been perfect, but he can't can't do it right now. So they used Finn, which... You could have used somebody else, really. You could have used anybody, really. I mean, Why not just one of like Seth Rollins or Dean Ambrose? I don't know. To me, it doesn't make any sense for Finn, especially if you're trying to build up this momentum for a Royal Rumble pay-per-view match with Brock Lesnar. Just showing you that Finn Balor can beat guys that are taller than him and stronger mm-hmm. than him. So I think it would have made, made more sense there, but I don't know what the WWE is thinking. They think short-term, because basically what this is leading to is going to be Kane versus Strowman. Yeah. Which, which is for the Battle of the Moniker, the monster, which is just a stupid thing to do. But it also makes no sense because Braun Strowman's already over himself, and people are saying that, oh, this is just to put Strowman over. He doesn't need it. But he doesn't need it, exactly. The one defense I'll have for the moniker of monster is it definitely means more than the WWE Championship does. <laughs> exactly. Right? The, the monster term, if you're called the monster of the WWE, that's much more important than the WWE Championship. Yeah. Sad, but true. Gender. Gender. Yeah, but I mean, I guess that's really all I wanted to say. I think that's pretty, pretty goddamn ridiculous. Yeah. Well, well, let's move on. Yeah, let's just move on and you segue to a perfect point, and that is the... Paul Heyman promo on Jinder Mahal. Mm-hmm. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Was it something that you... I mean, was it a shoot, do you think? Or do you think it was... I think it was kind of what everybody thinks. It's kind of like the same as the Roman Reigns, John Cena promos, right? Where people are like, oh, they're they're shooting a little too hard right now, you know? Mm-hmm. But they're just taking what all the fans and people on the internet say about the WWE and making it into a promo, which isn't that crazy. It's not hurting anybody's feelings because you can just disguise it as, oh, this is what the internet thinks about you. Right. So I'm going to say it to make a good promo because people are going to be like, oh, wow, you really said that on live TV? It's not that crazy. It was a good promo because it's Paul Heyman cutting it, but right. it's the same old, same old Brock Lesnar jumping in the ring and doing his little smile <laughs> next to him while they talk about this 
guy he's going to destroy in a match. Yeah. Well, that's what makes me kind of worried about this for their match at Survivor Series is that it's going to end up being a... Either Jinder Mahal wins clean. I don't think he's going to win clean, but I think it's going to somehow have like another classic Jinder Mahal wins by uh, scraping by with the Singh brothers helping. I feel like that's what it's leading towards. Mm-hmm. Well... Then, go ahead, go ahead. And I'm just, I'm just not a, up for it. That's all I really want to say. I'm just not up <laughs> no, for it. At no all. more, no more. Uh, well, we were just looking at some, you know, some possible news that there's going to be a special guest referee, and it's going to be like a big named person. Right. I think the name flying around is John Cena, heel John Cena. And if that's <laughs> the case, of course he's probably going to lean towards wanting to help Jinder win. You know, I don't know why he wouldn't. Because why would he try and help Brock Lesnar? Well, if he, like, maybe doesn't pin Brock... Maybe if, like, Jinder Mahal pins Lesnar and Son John Cena just, like, took a bump and he got injured and then uh, Jinder felt like he could have won if it was a regular ref, then it would lead to what's rumored as well, and that is John Cena versus Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship. Ridiculous. I mean, I don't really like special guest referees in general. Right. I think they're very overplayed. I mean, we've had a few great examples in the history of the WWE, but to do one every two months or one every three months, you don't need it. And this is a perfect example of, like, this match really means nothing. You know, it's mm-hmm. not going to be for a title. Nobody wants to see it. So why put a character in the referee's position when you don't need it? It just adds more... Parts to something that doesn't need any more parts and nobody cares yeah. about it. But I feel like WWE just booked themselves into a corner by having this match. Exactly. Because basically you're going to have to either do it like this. Either Brock Lesnar kills Jinder Mahal and basically ruins the value of the WWE Championship, which is already being ruined by having it around Jinder Mahal's waist. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> or you have Mahal win clean against Brock Lesnar, which is a very damning thing to do because Jinder Mahal is nowhere near the wrestler even though Brock Lesnar doesn't really do that much anymore, yeah. it's still like the fact that Brock Lesnar shoots his uh, matches sometimes. Yeah. So it makes him look strong. So if Jinder Mahal wins against Brock Lesnar, that's also damning. I think the fact that they referenced, and this is a little bit of a, a, a theory. I'm doing a theory video. Um, <laughs> the corrupted Goku theory? I, this is the corrupted Jinder theory. <laughs> <laughs> no. My theory is this, right? They referenced the shoot... Randy Orton SummerSlam match where right. Brock Lesnar elbowed the absolute piss out of Randy mm-hmm. and people thought it was real. Right. What are the chances we see that again with Jinder where Brock Lesnar absolutely is like just brutalizes him, right? Right. He brutalizes the Singh brothers and then they're trying to make some sympathy for Jinder. Where he didn't really lose, Brock Lesnar just went a little berserk and absolutely crushed his skull in. You know? Right. I think there's a chance that happens. Yeah, but I think I'm leaning more towards that guest referee now. As soon as I see all the reports and rumors, I think the the referee thing makes a lot more sense because you could build a storyline off from that into your SmackDown yeah. for the brand split, even though it doesn't really exist anymore because we saw AJ battle twice now on a Raw With no plan. explanation. With no explanation. I mean, the first one, I get it because they said... Uh, Bray Wyatt has a disease, or you know, he was injured, so he couldn't. <laughs> he has compete. a disease. <laughs> but the second time on Raw, that tells me that Vince really wants AJ Styles on Raw. He wants him to have the Universal Championship. Yeah, but going besides the point, it's going to lead to another feud with Jinder Mahal and John Cena. Am I looking forward to it? No, no. I feel like if you want to build up, because I think we're getting to that point where John Cena is going to break the record. The, the so-called record. I mean, I know they're gonna give there's them. disputed reports about it, but, you know, they're going to give him this 17th world title, and I think they could do it in a better storyline, and they should do it in a better storyline because if he's going to break the all-time record, it has to be memorable. It can't be just... Uh, How many times has Brock had it? I don't think he's had it that much. Maybe seven or eight times. They should just let Jinder keep losing it and get to his 16th. <laughs> and then they have a match for the 17th between him and John Cena. That'd be priceless. Oh, I mean, regardless, let's go back to the Jinder Brock. Right. I think, for me, there's no way Jinder doesn't win the match. Okay. Whether it's by disqualification, some crazy thing with the special guest referee, or just he happens to win clean, which would be insanity. 
he's going to win. Because they wouldn't put him in this match. They've tried to push him this hard. It makes sense to at least try and put him over with Brock Lesnar, whether he wins by getting his face crushed in by Brock Lesnar's giant elbows. Right. His meat hammers. Meat hammers. He's going he's gonna to be the, the winner of the match. The, I'm just not looking it's forward to dis- it. It's disgusting, but it's going to happen. The, I'm just not looking forward to it, man. Like, it, it's just one of those matches, and we'll talk about the card after we talk about this. I'm just not looking forward to a match where potentially Jinder could go over Brock mm-hmm. Lesnar, whether it's clean or dirty. I still think that's damning mm-hmm. to, a, to Brock Lesnar's character. Or a fact that the WWE Championship is going to be worth even less than the United States Championship in the IC belt. It's just, I feel like that belt in the pecking order has gone way down and it's been devalued for the longest time mm-hmm. with it around Jinder's waist and they need to start doing something with it. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think that's, I think you're, I think you're right. I mean, this really is, they've, like we've said multiple times, they've written themselves into a, a very big corner and however it plays out, Nobody's going to be happy with the results, other than the very, very casual fans who are just watching it because they don't know what and, else is And going. they're sheep. Sheeple. Sheeple.